Hi there, I'm Dawn Monroe. I wanted to introduce a product called Microsoft Lists. This is part of the Microsoft 365 suite of products. And if you are logged in on the internet, you can go to the app launcher and you're gonna find lists in the app launcher if this is part of your Microsoft suite of programs. So when you get in, it looks like this, and I have a few lists that I have played with already. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new list right now, just so you can see it. Notice the search bar up there, and just this is my account and help and settings. So I'll go to new list, and here they have a lot of templates. So maybe you are working on something specific and you want to um, just grab one of their templates and get started if that made sense for you. If you uh, if none of these really fits then you could go blank or pull something in from Excel or from whatever kind of list you actually have. Let's just play with the um, let's do the um, issue tracker and um, use a template. And so what it's gonna do, it's showing me a little sample. So this is like if you're in the IT department at your company and people are calling with a problem and what you could do is keep track of a list. Shoot, I could do this. I keep track of issues all the time, right? Everybody calling with a problem or emailing me. Um, and so we could list these out here and then um, let's just go for it. Let's use this template. Um, so we'll call this, uh, let's do it's um, Dawn's question tracker. And let's give it a color and let's do a list like this. Save it to my list. It looks like we could put it elsewhere, but probably a good idea in Microsoft World to put it where it wants to live so it can find it for you next time. Uh, I always appreciate that when it can find what I want. So what you'll see, and this kind of reminds me a little bit of like setting up an access database. Don't freak out, don't get scared, but each column is a field and each field I can organize, you know, A to Z, whatever. Let's just scroll down. So each one has settings and it might be text, it might be dates, it might be numbers. Let's kind of just scoot to the end, add a column, see the different, I gotta get myself out of the way. All the different types this may remind some of you out there of an access database or another kind of database. This is a data list. So let's just say I want to have, um, how about I have a date that I completed. So this would be like date answered. Okay, so I'll just do that. No, I don't want time. Um, anything like that, save it. And so I am adding a column there. Great, there it is. Okay, so if I wanted to add things in, and so when you start using something like this, and because you're in your Microsoft world, right, you can um, begin sharing this with people, right? So this becomes really, really usable. Now look up here in this grid. So let's say new, and here we go. So when I'm adding to this, so let's say um, date formatting in Excel, common, and we say um, date not recognized and I say it looks like this. Rewind. And it, Excel doesn't recognize it. And so then I know that this is 
um, a higher priority for somebody that wants to get it done. You've got a status on there, so uh, we can mark it. Um, this is new and assigned to, we're gonna assign it to Dawn. There she is. And then date reported, let's give it today's date. And it's got a date picker all built on. There, that's nice. I can add a URL if somebody sent me a link to a page or something, or I could add any images. So really nice. And then there's the field that I added. It's a date style field. So when I finish it, I can do that. I would probably add another field here where it's like, um, what was the resolution? All right, so I'm gonna just say there. So there becomes our first entry. And so as you add entries, this fills out into a data list. Now, you can change your view. You don't have to stay in this view. You can get it in this more um, Excel grid-ish view. It does have an undo. You can share this to others in your organization or outside, depending on your permissions. And you can just dump it over to a CSV, comma, separated value file, or to Excel. This does have a neat little connection to these Power Automate features. So this is something you would study up on and, and look a little further, but like when something happens in here, do you want something else to take place within the Microsoft world? Let's just peek at create a rule just so you see. Um, when something changes in the list, what do you want to have done? And so you just make a rule and you'd father, follow through. It's got like a wizard to help you. Um, and here, here are some of those other connections with Power Apps, Power, Power Automate, Power BI. So again, you can step up your game here if you need to. What's in the ellipsis? Alerts. Okay, so if you um, maybe you have this shared out and people are adding things, maybe you want to know when stuff happens. So that's how it works. It's got down here just um, some kind of setting items and here it does have a filter if you want to filter that out. But that is my quick overview of the Microsoft List product. I think this is a, a neat product. I think a lot of you can really uh, do some fun things with this. You want to get back out, you can go to Microsoft List, kind of get back out to the home of it and see your new list now becomes um, out here and uh, just one of many that you might create. So good luck with that. I hope you like it.